My name is David Gwen. I am a prof uh, research professor of international law and human rights at Rockefeller College and a senior associate at the Center for International Development. I teach international human rights and a new course on international law. Um, international human rights is the dominant international discourse for the last 50 years. To a certain extent, you cannot operate in an international environment without being conversant um, and understanding um, the role that human rights has played. Even countries that, that repress human rights um, and humans talk the language of human rights. So in order to operate effectively, you really need to understand and be able to analyze what they're doing and what they're saying and how they're using the tools that human rights gives them. And at the same time, what are the opportunities, that, that the fact that they've engaged in human rights discourse, what are the opportunities that that gives us um, to address those people and potentially find openings or some kind of opportunities for change. So in that sense, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's an critically important um, subject for anybody to understand. Um, with both courses, there is a survey or a broad introduction um, to the field. Um, but primarily my focus is on training the students in how to understand the topic area, um, analyze problems within it, and um, how to become advocates. Um, my approach is, is that, that this is an applied area. Um, we are expecting our students to go out and work in the field. And so therefore, um, my focus is on making sure that they are the best advocates for their positions as possible. This is not a situation where I lecture extensively on the law or, or the, the topic. It is an opportunity for the students to educate themselves on the specific areas of human rights and then to apply it in a case-based and analytic fashion. So it is evolutionary. It demands that the student um, be a self-starter to a certain extent, that the student um, engage with the material. I do provide ample readings with background for the stuff that we're covering on each week. Um, and each week focuses on a different area of human rights. Um, but it is one where they are expected to be working with the material and then understand how that comes to play as we apply it to specific cases. Um, it is also a course where I try to allow the students to tailor the areas of area that the areas that they're interested in. So for example, um, the the primary assignments are the creation of three cases on various topics. Um, the student gets to choose the topic. So a student that's interested in women's issues can find various ways to approach the women's issues in these cases, or if they're interested in health rights, or if they're interested in disability rights, or if they have a particular focus, they can kind of customize their additional reading, their additional research in the creation of the cases into areas that, that are helpful to them. Um, and the creation of the case is useful in the second sense in that um, in order to create a case, you really need to know the area that you're working in. My, my course is, is very much taught from a practitioner level. It's taught from somebody who works internationally, who does this for a living. Um, so it is, um, you know, applying academic rigor, applying academic skills, but it's doing so in the idea of pursuing the practice. Um, and the master's, the MIA is, um, you know, it's a, pre it's a master's, for practice. It's not, a, it's not a degree that's intended you know, to be followed by a PhD. It is a degree for people that are wanting to go into international work. Mm -hmm.